You don't want to go down there. What's back there? I could tell you. Tell you everything. How would you like that? No! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- Trying to get to the- Let's leave him. There's nothing we can do for him. I don't have time for this. Well, don't stay too long, or time will be all you have. Watch out! Oh, they'll be here any minute now. I don't know how much more I can take. All targets eliminated. All right, heading for the Geth base. Let's take it to him. The last batch went south. What are they looking for? Got some kind of comm signal. It's too weak to pinpoint, but someone is definitely out here. Don't need much of an invitation to move in, do they? They want something here. Why else would they bother with all this? Ain't getting through this with the gear we have. Has to be another way in. This was a research facility. A place of learning and knowledge. It should not have become a slaughterhouse. I think this situation falls under the shoot on sight category. One way drop, Commander. Dislodged. One of the other claws may have a weakness we have yet to detect. Thank you. 
This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Hey, if they're looking for God, I'd be happy to speed them on their way. Just like the other one. We don't have the teeth to tear this out. Keep looking. Dislodge even one claw in that ship will fall.
that's the way. Doors will be open now. We can go deal with that Thorian thing. Damn. I'd like to have seen the face on their pilot when that thing toppled. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. All right, people. You know the drill. Let's move out. Even in their ruins, the majesty of the Protheans is evident. But this place was pretty impressive back in the day. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio! What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please, help us. That's my mom! Stop! Stop! They're over! You can't do this, Jong! <laughs> Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. What do you think you're doing, Zhang? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Zhang. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. until you clear a path. 
Good luck. Finally, some action. What the hell was that? I don't know what that plant does to people, but that's not human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's do it.
Tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into... What the hell is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. 
Your blood will feed the crowd with a new growth! more of those around. Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into... What the hell is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground and the new growth. Commander, some sort of growth in here. Check it out. I thought I was in trouble. Has to be more of those around.
I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity.
I have given you the cipher. Just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you alright, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating, its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. 
Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. Some might call us crazy for staying here, but home is where you make it. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. I hope Exo Jenny learned their lesson. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. We start over. What else can we do? I hope Exo Jenny learned from this. Hopefully, everyone leaves us alone for a while. We'll make it. It'll be rough. But we'll make it. Exogeny better fund us like they agreed to in the first place. I hope everyone just leaves us in peace now. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Ma ma you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? 
Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I never jeopardized the mission. That's good, Commander. Stopping Saren is your primary goal. Everything else is secondary. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. <laughs>